Okay, this is question eight. And uh, we've been told that we've got four separate subroutines that have been written to control a robot. Move forward with this parameter n here. Moves the robot n squares forwards. Whatever n is, that's how many moves forwards it goes. Turn left, rotates 90 degrees left. Turn right, uh, turns 90 degrees right. Uh, object ahead returns true if the robot is facing an object in the next square or false if this square is empty. Okay, so draw the path of the robot through the grid if the following program is executed and the robot starting here in this place here. So basically what we've got is um, first of all an instruction to move forward two spaces so that's one two and then it's going to turn left now so uh, let's see if I can hopefully I can rotate this rotate uh, left 90 degrees there we go and then it's going to move forwards one so it's going to go here and then it's going to turn right so now we're going to rotate right and then move forwards one so the path that it took was this path here okay and if you want to draw the arrows in in each case you can of course do that okay next question now so we're going to do the similar sort of thing here in order to help me do that I'm just going to put an arrow on top of here so that I can move it around I'm just going to draw an arrow there zoom back out again Right, okay, so what we've got here now is again some instructions, but in the form of some pseudocode. Notice again, it's another algorithm that we've got to follow. Draw the path of the robot through the grid if the following program is executed. Again, the robot starts at this arrow. If a square is black, then it contains an object. So these are the objects here. So here we go. While object ahead is true, so we need to check to see whether this is true. If this is true this condition here object ahead equals true if that's true then we do the inside of that loop here so let's have a look is object ahead true well there is an object directly ahead so yes this is true turn left so we're going to rotate left now so let's rotate left by 90 degrees and then uh, if object ahead is true well, that is not true. There isn't an object directly ahead because this is blank here. It's not a black space. Uh, so we don't do that. So now we we miss off this these two instructions inside the if statement. And now we go to this statement here, which is forward one. So we go forward one square. Okay, and back to the top of the while loop. It says while object ahead is true. Is there an object ahead? And the arrow is pointing this way. So yes, there is an object directly ahead. It now says turn left. Okay, so uh, turn left. So uh, we're going to rotate left. Oh, I missed that. Let's just do that again. So rotate uh, left 90 degrees. So we're pointing down now. And then if object ahead is true, yes, there is an object ahead. So that is true. So we're going to turn right, turn right. So we're going to rotate right, rotate right. And then we're pointing in this direction. And then we're going to uh, execute this forward one statement now. So we go up to there and back to the top of the while loop again. While object ahead is true. Well, that's not true. It's not true at all. So this whole inside of this while loop here will not be executed. So we go to the end of the while loop and then we do the final instruction here, forward one. So it finishes off there. And I suppose if you wanted to, you could draw the path of the, uh, but you don't have to do that. 
Next question. A robot needs to visit every square in the grid that does not contain an object. Objects are shown as black squares. Again, complete the algorithm by writing the instructions in the correct places. Uh, you will need to use each instruction exactly once. Okay, so, so notice here what we've got is a blank. So we need to fill that in. Let's have a look down here first. While the distance is greater than zero, what's distance? Uh, we missed that instruction somewhere. Uh, let's go back and just check. We haven't got distance anywhere. No. Back again. Uh, back again. Oh, I see. Ah, so here's some. Uh, here, uh, following the following instructions in the correct place. All right. Okay. All right. So we we can't say forward distance first of all because we don't know what distance is. As I just looked, uh, I'm just doing this question straight off the cuff here. I'm not sort of looking at it in advance and then doing the video. So there must be something here that defines what distance is. Okay, now the distance here is four. So that is an assignment to define what distance is. So that really must go here. So let's write that in there. Distance is assigned to the value four. Okay, now while the distance is greater than zero, we need to visit all these. Now, if you look at where the arrow is now, the only place really we want to go is forwards. Okay, so while the distance is greater than zero, we want to go forwards by that distance, which is four, which will go one, two, three, four. Okay, so we're going to move forwards by the distance. That's that instruction there. Uh, we've used this one as well, so let's tick them off as we go along. Now, when we've done that, what we need to do now is remember, if we move forward by four, we're going to be sitting here.